Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, I'm Kat. And in this video, we're going to be trying on some vintage dresses. So if you're into that, then stick around. I don't know how to edit, so we're just going to be like getting right into it. The first one I'm going to show you is this floral number. So I'm hoping that I can do it justice and that you like it. So I will be right back. Okay, so I have the first dress on. Hopefully I can do it some justice. I'm not entirely sure what year this dress is from. I think it's 50s or 60s. That's uh, to go along with other dresses. I get that kind of vibe from it. And I paired it with these little pair of flats. So that is dress number one. Let me know what you think of dress number one. Some of the dresses are like so see-through, there's no possible way that I could get away without wearing them without a slip. So, of course, I have an old lady slip to go along with it. It's very hard for you to see. Grandmotherly. But very lovely at the same time. Let me know what you think of this outfit. This one's almost giving me like 1950 housewives. You know, like you could just get your apron on and be ready to cook. Let me know what you think of this dress. Not the apron, it's just an apron. This dress here. One of my favorites coming up is the next one. These are the shoes I'm wearing with this dress. There is blue in there, so. This dress here is one of my favorite vintage dresses. I think it's from the 70s, but it could be earlier than that. Isn't it so pretty? I love how it has like that part on it right there, the embroidery and the polka dots. And then I paired it with the polka dot bandana. It's just cute. 
cute. It has like, it's like a, like an A-frame skirt. They say that the A-frame looks good in any body type, looks good with an A-frame. I'm surprised that these still fit me, like, they fit me like they were made for me, but they weren't. Let me know what you think of this one. If it's your favorite, I know it's my favorite. Have you ever watched like Three's Company? Mrs. Romper? That's what this dress reminds me of. What do you think of this one? It's pretty loud. I wish all that stuff was not there. This has given me like 60s vibes too. What do you think? Let me know. On to the next one. This one is just too stinking cute. Look at it. It has like a bow tie and buttons down the front, a pretty belt. You could let, like go to church in this. This looks like something I would wear to church. Look how pretty this is. It's so pretty. It's light and flowy. They don't make stuff like this anymore. Fashion is all just fast fashion. Whereas this is like, you can never find this at Shine, Sheen. This is so adorable. It's like purple polka dots. Isn't that the cutest? The cutest. Look at it. Adorbs. Totally adorable. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Let me know what you think, though. Do you love it? Let me know in the comments. Chunky polka dots? Yes, ma'am. Except my arms are too fat. Look at those arms. They probably rip my back right off of them. Chunky polka dots. Chunky polka dots. What year would you... Oh, oh that's tight. There we go. Whew. It's like cutting circulation off. I think that's how it's supposed to go. Because the other way it was like, maybe that is how it goes. I don't know, but it was. My arms are too big. 
My muscles are too big. <laughs> Better stop working out, Kathy. Those muscles. Frig, I thought yeah, I even lost like a lot of my muscle tone when we, when COVID hit because I couldn't get to the gym anymore. So I've just been sitting around eating, gain weight. Gain weight here. Gain weight here. Gaining the weight here. I'm getting some weight right here. Yes, I am. Gotta love that weight. I need all the boob weight I can get. Who can relate to that? I wasn't blessed in the boob department, that's for damn sure. I always say that I was in the looks department while my sisters were in the boob department. Because they're like, my sisters are like voluptuous. They have like 10 handfuls. I only got like one handful. That's all you need, one handful each. <laughs> Two more dresses to go and then you can run away from me. This one, maybe I didn't need that big old slip, but I don't want anything to slip out. It's very cute. I like this one. It's very summery and cute. It's just like, um, you know, like a cute little summer dress. Frills, you know, summer dress. Back when summer dresses ha didn't have to be two inches below the snapper. You know the ones. I know the ones. I have some. I always find I get more respect when I dress with more. Does it make sense? They don't look at you like you're looking for attention. You just look like a pretty natural girl, woman, I don't know, I refer myself to as a girl. I've never grown up, so it's probably my problem. Let me know what you think of this dress. And we have one more dress, and then I will let you go. This one's so pretty, though. I just want to stay in dresses forever and ever and ever. Oh my goodness. Look at Who can relate? Butts are growing. My butts are growing. It's growing, yes? It's growing. I'm afraid that tuckered me out. Pulling my dress up. Cute, cute. It's a cute, yes? Don't mind me. Okay, so this one has like the little bib thing at the front. Don't mind all this big things. Obviously, it's the wrong equipment for this type of dress. This one is a gray and white gingham dress. This is what it looks like. Baby, baby, pretty. Baby, baby, pretty. Baby, 
you like? In my best Borat voice? You like? Yes, you like. <laughs> so what did you think about all of the dresses? Did you like my vintage dresses? Yes. Out of the six that I tried on, which did you like the best? Six? Seven? Out of the dresses, which did you like the best? I find it very hard to decide. Um, the chunky polka dotted one, I would probably adjust the straps a little bit so that it's not so tight on the armpits because that's uncomfortable and I couldn't really do it up all the way but it's hard to choose because I kind of like them all they're my dresses I was gonna sell them but then I decided not to I do, I ha I do have over amount of abundance clothes so I'm not clothing either but that's neither here nor there uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I make videos whenever I want to. It's usually every day. Sometimes more than once a day. Whenever the feeling hits me. That's the beauty of having your own channel. And not being committed to advertisements. So I get to do what I want when I want and nobody can tell me what to do so if you're into that hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell like it's you hitting your donkeys on the head but don't hit your donkeys on the head because that wouldn't be a very nice thing to do yeah no don't do that Medication's working, Kathy. My doctor put me on new meds. They're supposed to help with my depression. I don't seem depressed today. Maybe my depression is at an all-time high. I don't know. You need to subscribe to me. <laughs> Why not? I'm fun. I have fun. I like to have fun by myself, and you can experience in that fun with me. So, do it. Do it now. And tell your one hater to come find me, because maybe they'll like me too. So, come find me on my Instagram. It's katiecat077. On TikTok, it's katiecat777. And on Twitter... It's just brush number one. Why? Because there can only be one of me. One is enough. Let me tell you. It's like ten and one. So come back for more. You'll enjoy it. See ya in my next one. Hopefully soon. But not too soon. So you guys can watch this one. And get caught up on the things that you haven't watched already. So love ya. And I'll see you later. Okay, bye.